Hey everybody, this is Puka back with another game from the Top Cut Invitational. This is round one between Sammy Sakuma on the left, Sugi Yoshimoto on the right. Could you ask for a better matchup? I mean, I guess we are on the Top Cut Invitational. We have eight of the best players in the world. But this is a particularly star-studded matchup between two of the best world's performers of all time. You have Sammy Sakum, who just happens to go like undefeated in Swiss every year. Seems to make it to at least the top eight every year he's been in the finals before. Uh, he's never had that big win before, but he is always extremely consistent, does very well. And, of course, you have Yamato, who's a 2004 undefeated world champion. He's made it back to the top four as well. He's made it back to the top eight at Worlds. He seems to grind in a lot. Wow, what a matchup this is going to be. So we did start off, we saw Sammy Mulliganed. Um, quick note, this was a game that was streamed by card leaders live at the tournament. So just want to give a big shout out to those guys. Check them out. Um, they were great, gracious enough to help us stream the event. So we had two games being streamed live at the same time. This was one of them on their stream. So let's get ready for this awesome matchup between two world-class players. We're going to have the coin flip. Goes off the table. <laughs> it's one of the dangers of flipping coins. Again, goes off the table. We'll, we'll get there eventually, folks. And it looks like Sammy will be going first. We have a nice handshake here. And we're going to wait for the round to get started. So let's talk about this matchup before we get started. Sammy will be playing the same deck he used at Worlds, I believe, which is the straight Dark Ride deck. Uh, it's just... Night Spear as soon as possible. Plays cards like Potion, Lost Remover to help him slow down other decks. And basically he's saying, alright, Darkrai is the best attacker in the game. I'm just going to roll with it. I don't need anything else. Yamato, on the other hand, will be using a Darkrai Mewtwo variant, which plays a 2-2 Weavile Lion as well. So an interesting little choice on the Weavile part. We'll see if it comes into play at all. And Sammy's just uh, flipping over the basics. We're getting started here. And he will go first with that Smeargle. Puts down the Dark Rye with the special Dark and Eviolite. That's pretty perfect for what he wants to do. And he's going to Portrait. Let's see, there are two Junipers. And a pretty good hand from Yamato, to be honest. If he can draw a Dark Rye, that'll be pretty nice. Um, actually, that's not the greatest hand now that I think about it. But he will be able to get a Dark in this discard pile. Sammy, on the other hand, had to discard a Lost Remover potion. Two Junipers, and oh, he didn't get anything, so he has to pass. So, it looked promising for Sammy. Maybe he could have considered using his Juniper first. But, um, oh, actually, that wasn't his turn. Okay, <laughs> throwing me off there. I thought he was passing his turn. He was just telling Yamato he can bring his hand back up. Doesn't have to leave it face up for the entire turn. Um, so, right now, does Sammy get anything else going? Yes, he does have an N. So, he's going to shuffle in Yamato's hand and his hand. They're both going to shuffle in and draw six. Sammy will be going as hard as possible to try to get his turn one Night Sphere. Uh, it's going to take quite a few cards at this point. He's going to need, like, a Junk Arm and a Dark Patch. He's going to need to get two Dark in the discard pile. I need a Switch or a Sky Arrow as well so that's probably not too likely Let's see if he can get any dark in the discard pile this turn at all otherwise he's just gonna have to pass and yeah he just has to pass so now it'll be on Yamato to do something he's got that nice full art Mewtwo up there uh, now Mewtwo early on is not a card you actually want to have out there just gonna end up being a big target for Night Spears but as the game goes on Mewtwo is actually what swings this matchup completely. What happens is you're trading Night Spears back and forth. You know, you both have Darkrai. Once there's an Eevee Light on, Darkrai's don't really knock each other out very quickly. It only does 70 at a time with Night Spear. So what's going to happen is Yamato's going to be Night Spearing just like Sammy. But eventually what's going to happen is, hey... I'm going to have all these energy left on my field because it takes so long for you to knock out Darkrise. I'm just going to Shaman and move all of my energy to a Darkrai and then go with it. Uh, I am just eventually going to get a Mewtwo with like 7 energy on it and X-Ball for a ton of damage. 
And really there's not a whole lot you can do about it if you, unless you take out my energy and lost room over my double colorless. So unless Sammy can keep that Mewtwo in check, eventually it's going to come out, Shaman's going to happen, and there's nothing he can really do about it. So Yamato is going to put down that Dark and an Eevee Light on the Mewtwo. So there's two Eevee Lights on his board. That's very good. It's going to make it tough for Sammy's Night Spear bench damage to really do anything. Uh, and I think Yamato is going to go for a portrait this turn. He's going to Junk Arm for the Dark Patch. And he's all in. He's got no cards in his hand. He's really just praying Yamato has, or Sammy has something. In oh, Sammy has the Juniper. Unfortunate for Sammy that he did have the Juniper. If he had no supporter, Yamato would have had no hand. And I think Sammy would have probably coasted to a victory. But as things are now, there is a Lost Remover on the Special Dark. And all of a sudden, Sammy's, you know, going first was neutralized by the Lost Remover. He doesn't have much going for him. There's no Dark Patch in his discard pile. It's just a potion. There's not much he can even Junk Arm for. So he might want to just portrait here and see what happens. Uh, otherwise, he's going to have to get rid of two Junk Arms in his hand. I believe there are two Junk Arms. We'll see. He's going to portrait, and there's an Oak's New Theory, so that's good for him. He did not want to discard that whole hand. Junk Arm is one of your most valuable resources in any deck. Just because it can turn into Pokemon Catcher, Potion, Lost Remover, and all that good stuff in this matchup. Uh, I don't believe Sammy plays Plus Power, which would have been a big deal. Plus Power helps you get two hit knockouts on opposing Dark Rise. If you can go Plus Power, Junk Arm, Plus Power, stuff like that, you can start to get... Two hit knockouts if you have a special dark on your dark eye. Otherwise, it's going to take three night spears for knockouts. And really, the longer it goes without Sammy getting a night spear off, the more it's going to favor Yamato. The benefit of running the straight dark eye deck is that you are a fast deck. If you can start night spearing on turn two, you will just put so much pressure on your opponent. It is unbelievable and so hard to keep up with. But. If you're just as fast as your opponent, say you're just as fast as the Darkrai Mewtwo deck, well, they have the same strategy as you, but they also have the option of Mewtwo. So you really need to beat them to the punch. Otherwise, you know, they are just going to overpower you eventually as the game goes on. Now, let's see. Yamato will play an Oak's New Theory. Now, one thing important to note about Yamato's list is he does not play any switch or sky arrow bridge so that's gonna make it tough for him to pull off a night spear this turn unless he wants to drop a shaman he doesn't play energy switch either which Yuta did feature in his deck uh, so he really has to attach to the active smeargle in order to retreat it and then he can go ahead and follow up but it looks like Sammy has no supporters in his hand so no portrait is happening this turn which is good for Sammy. He did not want Yamato to portrait. Uh, the game really has turned into a lot of Smeargle battles in, um, in a lot of these matchups. That's just kind of how the format developed. It just turned into, did you have a supporter in your hand when I used portrait? Oh, you did? Okay, well, now I get to draw stuff. Oh, you didn't? Okay, well, <laughs> looks like uh, I will pass now. And as you can see, Yamato understands this concept very well. He junk armed away his Juniper and just made it so that Sammy could not use his Juniper. Uh, and actually, I don't think Sammy used Portrait. That was a big misstep. Uh, I, I believe he forgot to do that. Um, maybe he just assumed Yamato didn't have a supporter, but uh, he definitely had an N in his hand. Or maybe he just didn't want to have to discard everything. I don't know what the deal was. Um... But I'm just going to assume that he forgot to use Portrait. <laughs> and I think Sammy is realizing that now. Um, I mean, you can't go back and reverse that now, but... Yeah, he's realizing, oh, I forgot to use Portrait. Oh, well. Hopefully, that doesn't impact the game too much. I mean, uh, Yamato is going to have to use N anyway. And um, he actually doesn't play it at all. He wants to wait for Sammy to Portrait his N. And, okay, we have a random receiver coming up. Let's see what Sammy gets. 
It's revealing a lot of cards from his deck. Um, that's a ton of cards. Okay, and he finally gets an N. And he also accidentally revealed another N. So Yamato knows that there are at least... Uh, there's at least one more N after Sammy plays this one. That he has to worry about. Uh, I believe Sammy will play down the Sky Arrow Bridge this turn. Just so he can retreat his Smeargle. And then he'll play the N. Uh, I don't know if he'll use Junk Arm. He might. Not sure exactly what he would get back with that. He could Ultra Ball as well. You know, resources aren't as important in this matchup, like Catcher. Uh, for the straight Darkrai deck, you don't really need four Catcher in this matchup because usually you just attack the active. You need a couple Catchers here and there, but you don't need all four. Uh, so he's going to Junk Arm for another Random Receiver. Interesting choice. Gets another N. That's probably not what he wanted. Maybe he's trying to thin out his deck. I don't know what he was going for. Uh, actually, he probably doesn't realize that Yamato has a supporter in his hand. So he was trying to get an Oak's New Theory instead. Or a Juniper. He would have taken either one. And... Let's see. I wonder if he'll portrait before he plays the end. Uh, he'll prob he should probably play it afterwards, but... Little does Sammy know that. Yamato's been holding on to an end the whole time. And just didn't want to play it. And Sammy will catch her... Let's see. He'll go for the Mewtwo. He realizes how much of a problem that Mewtwo will be in the future. And with that Eevee Light, it's going to be three hits to knock out the Mewtwo. So he realizes, okay, I need to get rid of this thing immediately. I need to at least soften it up so that later I can knock it out. And that's exactly what he's going to do. Unfortunately, the Night Sphere damage will only do 32 Bench Pokemon. Uh, it'll only do 10 to one of those Dark Rise. He could target down a Smeargle, I suppose, if he really wants to. Um, otherwise, I don't know what Sammy's options are at this point. It looks pretty grim. You can see why Darkrai Mewtwo was, by the end of the format, one of the best decks. It just has so many options. There's so many things to deal with. Uh, it has the Darkrai, which is obviously very strong. But it also can follow it up with a Mewtwo, just to come in with a big hit. Because Darkrai, sure, it does a lot of quick damage. It can two-hit a lot of stuff. It sets up future knockouts with a 30 to the bench but then it really just can't come in for a big swing you need Mewtwo for that big boom x-ball gigantic knockout take out your opponent's big Pokemon and Sammy's deck does not have that but Yamato's does he plays a couple Shaman in there which will let him get that big turn but for the time being he really doesn't have anything uh, he does not have a Darkrai powered up so this is going to be a, a crucial turn for Yamato to see if he can get a Dark Ride going. I'm not sure what he has in his hand. If he has a couple Dark Energy, he could pull it off. Uh, he has the Max Potion, which he could use to heal his Mewtwo, and then he could Dark Patch, but then he wouldn't be able to retreat his Mewtwo. So he's going to... Okay, he did Ultra Ball away a Dark and an N. He has a Dark Patch in his hand. He's going to grab a Weavile. Hmm. Not sure why he's going for that. I don't think he has the Sneasel in his hand. But now he can Dark Patch onto that Dark Rye with the 10 damage on it. It's already got one energy. I assume he'll retreat now. And probably Max Potion the Mewtwo. And then if he has another supporter, he'll play that. Try to get an energy. And then he'll get really the first Night Sphere on Sammy's Dark Rye. So there we go, there is the Max Potion, and yes, there is Juniper. He's actually just grabbing the Weavile to get rid of it. Um, he doesn't want that in his deck anymore. It's kind of funny. Uh, he realizes that it might not be so useful later on. He doesn't want it in his deck anymore. He'd rather draw more useful cards. So he just Ultra Balls to get it out of his deck. That's kind of an advanced concept that newer players don't um, get the hang of for a while. Play the Ultra Ball, grab a card that you really don't want in your deck anymore, and then discard it with Juniper. It's a very smart play, where in games that involve N, you want as few cards as possible that are going to be detrimental when you draw them. Uh, and Weavile is going to be one of those. He doesn't have a Sneasel out there, he's actually already discarded a Sneasel. So he realizes, okay, uh, I probably won't be able to use these anymore. And I want them out of my deck. So he does get the first Night Spear on Sammy's Darkrai. And that Max Potion cleared the board. That's another thing that 
Yamato has that Sammy doesn't. He has the Max Potion. That's going to allow him to completely heal one of his Pokemon. Which is another reason why Mewtwo is so good. It prevents your opponent from doing any sort of Max Potion shenanigans where they just heal off their Pokemon and negate any damage that you did. So, uh, basically this game so far has been a story of Sammy starts something first and then Yamato one-ups him. <laughs> Uh, I mean, Sammy went first, he attached a special dark, then Yamato just said, okay, lost remover. Sammy attacks first, gets the first Night Spear, and then Yamato goes, okay, Max Potion. <laughs> so, so far, everything Yamato has done has been just a little bit better. Uh, Sammy did Junk Arm for a potion. That's going to make it, well, if Sammy gets one more potion, that's going to... Force another Night Spear from Yamato, because the way it is now, if he does 70 and 70, uh, that will be just enough for a knockout. So if Sammy gets one more potion, he'll be out of Night Spear knockout range. But Mewtwo is always a looming threat, so I don't know if he'll be able to survive. But at the very least, um, yeah, I mean... He, he could get a potion. I'm not sure how many Sammy actually plays. Probably two or three. He's used a couple junk arms already. And he does not have a supporter. So he's going to be in some trouble. Uh, we've also seen a difference in philosophies between these two players. And what I mean by that is... Yamato has prioritized... Okay, I'm going to Night Sphere. I don't care about doing 10 damage to your Darkrai. I'm going to put 30 on your Smeargle instead. Whereas Sammy's saying, Alright, I'm going to Night Sphere and I'm fine just doing 10 damage... To your Mewtwo. He's saying eventually, okay, I'm going to get 30 damage on the Mewtwo. And then it's going to only take me two Night Spears then to get a knockout. So, Yamato's saying, alright, I'm going to go for the cheap prize. Sammy's saying, okay, I'm going to set you up for an eventual knockout. So we do see a double Colas on that Mewtwo. And Yamato, he's afraid of, uh-oh. <laughs> well, Sammy should be the one afraid now. There are six energy on the Mewtwo. There's only ten damage on it. It's going to take three Night Spears to knock that out. And, um, let's see. Six energy. Uh, unless Sammy hits a Lost Remover, that thing is going to be just a beast. It's going to be so tough for Sammy to knock that out. And this is why Darkrai Mewtwo is such a strong deck. And it kind of has the advantage over the straight Darkrai deck. You can just pull off these plays where all of a sudden, oops, your Darkrai is gone. All of your energy is gone. And I have a Mewtwo with six energy on it. Try dealing with that without having Mewtwo of your own. And we'll see if Sammy can do that. It's going to be tough. It's going to take Lost Remover for sure. That's going to be his main way of trying to deal with this. But, uh, oh, he's got to play another Junk Arm. Get rid of a special Dark, which is what he would need to deal with this. Uh, if he gets a special Dark... He can Night Spear for 80, and then another 80, and he can get a knockout that way. But the way things are now, he's got one Special Dark in the Lost Zone, two in the discard pile. He'll have one left. I don't believe he plays plus power. So he's going to need to draw his fourth Special Dark. We saw it is in his deck, but he's going to need to draw that and a Dark Patch to have a shot. And then probably a Lost Remover as well, just to make sure he doesn't get knocked out by that Mewtwo. So he's going to need all of that this turn. Otherwise he's going to be in some trouble. Uh, he gets the Lost Remover. That is step one. Gets the Dark Patch. That is step two. <laughs> Does he have step three? He needs the Special Dark as well. Uh, no, it's just a basic Dark. So he's still going to be in some trouble. He's going to Portrait. And Yamato does have the N. Uh, so maybe Sammy should have waited to attach the Energy. Just in case he gets the Special Dark. That would have been a huge victory for him. A two-hit knockout on the Mewtwo instead of a three-hit knockout. Uh, that would have been monumental for what he needed to do. But uh, the way things are now, it's going to be a three-hit knockout. That ten damage he put on the Mewtwo will be worth nothing. And really, he's going to need two different Dark Rides to deal with this one Mewtwo. There's no other way to deal with it at this point. And if Yamato can pull off something crazy, he's going to need, let's see, there's 7 energy total right now. He needs 11 to be a knockout, so he'd need like 2 Dark Patches, a Double Colas, and a Shaman 
to get the required energy to knock out a Darkrai in one hit. That's probably not going to happen. So, realistically, we're going to see a two-hit knockout on Sammy's Darkrai. Now, Sammy's not out of this game by any means. He's If he takes out this Mewtwo, he's going to take out all of the energy out of Yamato's play. And that means Yamato won't have any other attackers to power up. Yamato basically put all of his eggs in this one basket. He's saying, alright, Mewtwo, let's go. And if this falls, he's going to have trouble following up with another attacker. He might be low on dark patches, might, might be low on junk arms. Uh, even if he's not low on them, he might not be drawing them. Um, and he doesn't have the bench space to go Mewtwo Shaman. He's only got one bench spot open. So this is still a very close game. It's all going to depend on what these two players draw from here on out. You never know what can happen with N. Uh, unfortunately for Sammy, it looks like he is the one running low on options at this point. He has played at least three Junk Arm that I know of. Maybe there's a fourth one in there, maybe the fourth one's prized. So Junk Arm's not going to be very available to him. Uh, he's played a Lost Remover, two Lost Removers maybe. So Double Colorless might be safe from this point on. He's played one Potion. He might need to draw into the second one eventually. And yeah, I mean, I don't know how many Dark Patches he's gone through, how many Energy he's gone through, but it's not looking pretty for Sammy's game the rest of the way. And Yamato, he's got... I can't tell if he has a supporter or not. He did play a Dark Patch. He's going to Ultra Ball. Discards his other Sneasel, so that's not going to be an option this game. He grabs the Shaman, maybe. Yes, he does grab the Shaman. He recognizes, okay, I can't not let all this energy go to waste. So, I need to Shaman all the energy off my Mewtwo. And Night Sphere this turn, maybe. Maybe he's afraid of a couple plus powers. Uh, maybe he's just grabbing the Shaman thin out his deck but no he's going for it he's gonna move two energy to his dark eye is he going to night spear this turn I think he probably should uh, right now x is only doing 60 and he plays an N now Sammy will draw six Yamato will draw four what is Yamato going for at this point I'm not actually sure he could be going for a catcher that would put 90 on Sammy's dark eye and that would be a pretty devastating move to be honest um, that would set it up to be knocked out by another Night Spear and then all he has to do is knock out that one Dark Cry and he'll win the game pretty much um, otherwise I don't know what's gonna happen at this point you're seeing decks getting very thin <laughs> um, and not many prizes being taken looks like Yamato is retreating his Mewtwo and will be retreating for free thanks to Dark Cry's Dark Cloak and he's just going to put 30 on the bench dark eye, 70 on the active. And this is smart because it's going to set up for a future X ball knockout. Right now, X ball is doing 60 with that Mewtwo because there's only two energy on it. Now, Yamato is out of shamans, he is out of bench space. I don't know how many junk arms he has left, how many max potions, but Sammy's going to have trouble even competing with what's on the board right now. Uh, it's a 3-hit knockout to knock out the active Darkrai. It's a 2-hit knockout to knock out that Mewtwo. He does have that one Darkrai on the bench, so there are 6 prizes available to him, eventually. But it's going to take... Uh, well, actually, he can Night Spear the Mewtwo. That would bring it in range for um, a Night Spear knockout, I believe. Let's see, there's nine, it would be 90. Two more Night Spears... And he could put the Mewtwo in range of being knocked out. So I think he should probably put... Uh, he can put 10 on the Darkrai or the Mewtwo. He's going to go for the Mewtwo. So basically he is 4 attacks away from winning this game, assuming Yamato doesn't get a Max Potion. Can he survive that long to pull this off? Uh, it's going to be very tough. Because Yamato, he does always have the, the option to go Mewtwo again. Uh, right now, X-Ball is doing 60. He can drop a double colorless to go for 100. But that's still not enough to get a two-hit knockout with a Darkrai and then a Mewtwo. That 30 on Sammy's bench Darkrai is going to be huge in terms of setting up a couple knockouts. Uh, so this game is extremely close. 
It's actually been going on for quite a while. This is a 30-minute timed match, plus three turns, so we have that to consider as well. Sammy has yet to take a prize, but there's a ton of damage on your model's board. This game could go any, any way at this point. When you have Dark Rise and Eevee Lights and Lost Removers flying around, you don't know what can happen. Your model's going to play another N, and let's see... I don't know how many cards are actually left in Sammy's deck, but this is definitely a concern for him. Maybe he won't even have enough turns to win if he's going to deck out. Looks like there might be 10 to 15 cards left. I mean, granted that's a big difference between 10 and 15, but... The point is, if he plays a Juniper, he probably will deck out at this point. And, oh, there's the Max Potion. That is devastating. I don't know how Sammy's going to recover from that. If Yamato can manage to power up that Darkrai... And we'll have a Night Spear. Let's see. Um, basically, Sammy's active is done for. He can't do anything about that. And he's just going to have to Night Spear with it. It's got 140 damage on it. He's going to need to draw some potions. Uh, maybe he can draw a Catcher. Knock out the Mewtwo before it gets to him. Uh, otherwise, I... I don't know how he's gonna pull this one out. He's gonna need a bunch of potions and stuff. I don't know how many potions are even left. <laughs> he does have that fourth special dark in his hand. Maybe if he had some plus powers that would work, but I seriously don't believe he plays any. So right now, Sammy... I don't know what his options are. All he has is Dark Rider to work with. See, he, he might have another Darkrai left in his deck. That is another option I hadn't considered. He's going to play a catcher. Let's see, he's going to go for the Mewtwo. Okay. Now he does have that Darkrai on his bench. Which he could attach a special Dark to in retreat. And he would, act, or he would Night Spear for 80 damage, which is a knockout. And put 10 on the other Darkrai probably. So there's still some hope for Sammy. Uh, I think... I'm going to assume the fourth Dark Rye is prized. I don't think he would have discarded one. And uh, he's going to want to try to dig it out of the prizes. I don't know if he has the resources left to pull out another Dark Rye with three energy. He doesn't play Shaman. It's just the straight Dark Rye Smeargle deck. And... He will get a knockout this turn, depending on what he wants to do. He's going to Potion. Okay, that's a big card to have. Potion on that one Dark Rye. Going to bring it down to 10 damage. Uh, he's going to play a Switch to get rid of it. Oh, he's going to be able to Portrait as well. Going to take a look at Yamato's hand. Just a Dark Rye and a Weavile. Okay. So if Yamato does not draw a couple energy in these coming turns, he could be in some trouble. I don't know if Sammy has a Supporter in his hand, but... Uh, if he does, Yamato will be able to portrait. Otherwise, there's no way for Yamato to take advantage of this. Uh, and Sammy is, let's see, deciding where he's going to put the Night Spear damage. Uh, Yamato's just going to take a look and see. Okay, and Sammy's going to put the 10 damage on the Darkrai with no damage on it. Because he realizes, okay, it's going to be two hits for Night Spear either way. Did Sammy get a supporter off his prizes? He did not have one in his hand. That's going to be a big deal. It's coming down to the wire here, I think. Time has been called at this point. I can't really tell. Oh, there's a lost remover. That is huge. Sammy might not have an energy. Okay, he does have the energy. Never mind. But no supporter. Let's see. He might... Does he have a potion as well? I cannot tell. His hand is moving too quickly. Uh, I saw a random receiver, two Ultra Balls. And here is a Night Spear. It's going to put 70 on the active. 10 on the bench, Dark Cry. Sammy does have that other energy. Can Night Spear here? With 70, he will not be in that bad of a position. I just don't know what the time situation is like. Let's see. If he can knock out this Dark Cry and Yamato cannot power up that other one. I think Sammy will actually win this game. Um, that's just how it's going to work out. He'll have enough resources. I mean, he will win this little battle here. He'll knock out the active one if Yamato 
Uh, doesn't have a max potion or anything. And right now, Sammy's putting 30 on the Shaman. Let's see, we're going to do 70 to the Darkrai. It's got 140 hit points on it. And Yamato, that's going to get knocked out. Sammy's Bench Darkrai has 150 damage on it. The active has 80. Unless Yamato has a Catcher, he cannot get a knockout this turn. And if he does not have an energy, he won't be able to power up that other Darkrai. If he doesn't have Dark Patch either. Man, this is getting very, very close. It looked like Sammy was on the ropes for a while, but all of a sudden, I mean, like I said earlier, if Yamato loses that Mewtwo, he loses all the energy, but oh, did he top deck a Juniper? Oh, man. Um, now, if this game played out fully... That Juniper wouldn't be an option, I don't think, because Yamato would just deck out. But uh, if if time has been called, which appears to be the situation, I can't tell for sure. Then a Juniper would mean that he could get his catcher, take those two prizes, and maybe take the lead enough to win the game. Man, this is close. These are some big decisions coming up for Yamato. He has very few cards left in his deck. I don't believe he plays Super Rod, so there's no way for him to shuffle cards back into his deck unless he gets an N. Even then, he might not have enough cards if he has to play enough of them to prevent himself from decking out. So he really needs three more attacks to win the game. Does he have those three attacks to win, though? Does he have the time to do it? He's going to do some math. And it's gonna come down to the wire. Now he does have Mewtwo left. Let's not forget about that. So he could get a Mewtwo with a double colorless on it. Uh, I believe he's only played one double colorless to this point. He's going to Juniper. And he's going to draw all but one card in his deck. He needs a catcher this turn to get a knockout. And let's see, he's got a dark patch. That is very, very useful as well. Can't tell, are there, there's actually just one energy on that Darkrai? But now he'll have three with that attachment. And now I think Sammy is in deep trouble. Yamato's Darkrai will be fresh and ready to go. We see the catcher, and that is going... Okay, time officially has been called. So Yamato is going to take two prizes on this Darkrai. He's going to have a fresh Darkrai of his own. And, um... Okay, I'm not sure what happened there, <laughs> but, um, yes, Yamato will retreat this Dark Rye. He's going to get a knockout, put 10 on the other one, and, okay, he's actually going to put 30 on the Smeargle, just going to make it harder for Sammy to actually win. Now, Sammy can still win. Uh, I don't know if he has the time to win. All right, he has one. Sammy is turn one. Yamato was turn zero. So this is going to take one catcher to knock out the bench dark right and then he'll put 30 on that shaman with the 30 damage already sammy has set this up beautifully so we'll need one catcher he'll take two prizes there he'll need a second catcher to bring up either smeargle or shaman and then he'll knock out the active and then put 30 on the other shaman as well taking two prizes to win the game so this is very win winnable for sammy as long as he has two catchers left in his deck does he have two left, though? Uh, I've seen a junk arm. There's going to be the first one he needs. At least I think that was a junk arm. Man, it does not get much closer than this, but what would you expect from two of the best here at the Top Cut Invitational? This game is coming down to the wire. Sami Sakum versus Sugiyoshi Yamato. This is one of the best games I've ever seen. Just back and forth, back and forth. You don't know who's going to win. You think one guy's got the advantage, and then boom, someone takes it right back. Now, Sammy does need a catcher this turn. If he doesn't have one, he'll lose on time. Uh, I cannot... Okay, there's the junk arm. That is big. He needs to have that. He's going to junk arm. He needs the catcher out, that dark guy. Take it out of play. Yep, he's going to bring that up. Uh, let's see. He's thinking about it. He's thinking about it. Okay, he's going to take the Darkrai. It's probably his best bet. He wants to eliminate all of the energy from play and all that stuff. Set up his Darkrai. 
Night Spear, put the 30 on the Shaman. Now, Yamato... Oh, if he doesn't win this... I don't. He can't win this turn. Unless he has a, a miraculous third Shaman and a Mewtwo. There's no way for him to really win. If he has a Max Potion or a Junk Arm for the Max Potion, he will win. There's no way for Sammy to avoid that. However, there's only one card in his deck, let's remember. So... This is going to be a ridiculous finish. Yamato needs an end this turn. To have a shot at winning. <laughs> um, does Sammy have an end in his hand? Let's see. Yamato's just trying to clarify some things. Um, so he will be drawing the last card in his deck. But I believe he's turned zero. And now he's turned two. So Sammy will be turned three. He's just trying to figure out. Uh, let's see. Not sure what's going on here, folks. I apologize. He's going to promote this Smeargle. And Yamato will draw the last card in his deck. Okay. <laughs> I think. Alright. Now, does he have an end to shuffle cards back into his deck? That's going to be the question here. If he doesn't... Well, that actually won't really matter. Uh, as long as Sammy doesn't tie the game or win... Yamato can't actually deck out. Uh, oh, he has the N. <laughs> he has it, folks. He's going to prevent himself from decking out. He's going to shuffle in his hand. He's only going to draw two cards. But it's going to come down to, does Sammy have the last catcher to win the game? Oh, my goodness. So, there is the N. Shuffles his hand in. He's only going to get two cards. Sammy will get two as well. Oh, man. Does Sammy even have a catcher left to, to draw? Uh, if he doesn't, he's done for. If he has one last Pokemon catcher, he will take two prizes and win. Yamato is out of max potions at this point. He cannot draw enough cards to even use Junk Arm. And here it is. Here comes Darkrai. He's going to knock out that Smeargle. Does Sammy draw the catcher? Let's see. And no, oh, Sammy extends his hand. That will be the game. No catcher for Sammy, unfortunately. I don't know if there's any left in his deck, even. I think he was all out. He had to discard too many early on in the game. And that is going to wrap up this very exciting match between two incredible players. Yamato gets his revenge for losing to Sammy in the first round of the Invitational last year. And this rivalry will continue, folks. <laughs> so Sammy Sakum falls to 0-1. Yamato is 1-0. And we will see how these players manage to do in the, the rest of their games. So thanks guys for watching. I've been Puka. We'll have more matches here from the Top Gun Invitational soon. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys next time.